Without Outdoors to the Great Indoors, this is Without Bias with Jack Hebron and Barry Lester. And we're going around Australia as always this morning here on Without Bias. Barry Lester not with us this week. Jeez, I'm saying that a lot this year. Barry Lester not with us this week. Andrew Holmes is in the studio. He is looking sharp as well. And we're joined by Kelsey Cottrell who's in town. We're having a chat with Kelsey and as we said, if you'd like to see this interview from a visual medium, you can go to the BATV, which is Bowls Australia's YouTube channel, or you can go to the website www.bowlsaustralia.com.au. Kelsey, every time that we talk to a guest who was part of the World Championships last year in Adelaide, we ask more about them. I quite often drive past the, the Greens there at Lockleys and just wonder what it would have been like. But certainly from your perspective, home crowd advantage to be able to play in a familiar surroundings to you and have everyone there supporting you. Tell us a little bit more about what that was like. Um, yeah, I mean, every every minute of that World Championships was um, was exciting. Uh, my family were there too. Um, it had been a couple of years since my mum my had been to watch me play in a major event like that. So um, it was good to have her there and um, and all the team members had family. So um, we had a really good, knit, uh, close-knit team. Um, we got to catch up with the family a lot. So, it, you know, it didn't feel like we were... Um, you know, we were away from home forever. You know, we felt like our home was there. Um, and then, yeah, the results, when the results just started to come, um, take note, Rebecca and myself started that flow of uh, the, gold, to, the gold medal rush. Had to start somewhere. Yeah. I wasn't going to call you the catalyst, but yeah, I believe it started with you guys. Absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah, so once that, once that, um, once that happened, um, it was just, yeah, I, it just, um, it all happened so quickly. Um, before we knew it, it was over. And, um, yeah, just so many fantastic memories. And, and it was just so great that every single person there got a gold medal because everyone worked so hard for that. We obviously wanted to achieve good things, but did, it, did you have any idea that we'd win pretty much everything? Because I think even on the show, we were giving live updates throughout the course of the fortnight and we're saying, gee, we've won another one there. Gee, we've done okay there. I don't think anyone realised that we would basically clean the entire pool up. Well, it's never been done before. Um, I that think... would be except for the women's fours. Uh, yeah. Who well, we missed out I didn't on, want to bring yeah, that okay. up. Didn't <sighs> want to bring that up. Yeah, no, but not talk about that. <laughs> um, yeah, no, um, I think like the last World Championships, we, um, you know, there was a couple of gold medals. There was gold medal matches and it was exciting. Um, but then this one just absolutely, I, I didn't think um, you could top that. Mm. Um, and we did. And I think for me personally, like I looked at every member of the team and I thought, wow, like this is a really awesome Australian team. Like in... Everyone deserves to win a gold medal, but you always have on the back of your head, you know, I hope I'm not the one that, that maybe misses out because, you know, bowls, you know, there's luck involved. You know, there's a few different things. Um, You could just hit a strike a really amazing opponent and, and get beaten and all of a sudden your know, tournament's over. Um, So I suppose I, you know, we were hoping it wasn't going to be us. Um, but, yeah, I always had faith in, in, in the rest of the team to, to do their thing and, um, and, yeah, when it happened, it was just like, yeah. oh, my God, this is really <laughs> happening. <laughs> Kelsey, um, your 2012 World Championships worked off the back of a relatively successful 2008 version in Christchurch, silver and bronze for yourself there. What was the hunger like in terms of you personally going into another World Championships? And we might just touch on a little bit later that uh, we are talking to you on the verge of retirement at the age of 23. But obviously you earmarked another World Championships and maybe 2014 Com Games as a bit of a crescendo to your career. What was the hunger like going to Adelaide? Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely wanted it, that's for sure. Um, everyone did. Um, the problem is everyone there competing in other countries, they want it too. So um, it's always going to be tough. Um, the 2008 World Championships, uh, I was only, I think I was, yeah, 17. I don't think I turned 18 yet. Um, it was my first uh, really big event. Um, I got chucked into the singles. Um, and um, I, I, I probably, I, I remember what it was, what it was like. But um, there's bits of it that I probably don't, I don't remember. It all just happened so quickly. And as a 17 year old, there was probably, there was a bit of nerves. Uh, my family was there, and you know, I wanted to do well for them. And this was my big chance to, um, you know, to show everyone what I had. And unfortunately, I didn't come away with the gold. So it gave me a bit of hunger in the belly, I suppose, to to go on. And um, knowing that the next one was going to be in Adelaide, um, definitely, even four years out, had you know, pinpointed that one as um, the one to win, I suppose. Andrew touched on it, Kelsey. We've gone this far. We've been chatting to you for about 15 minutes now. We have to talk about it. It's the... I only wrote it because you were nervous of doing it. Well, I'm not nervous. <laughs> I'm just interested to know. You've achieved so much already, and clearly it looks like if you continue to go on, you're going to have a, a glittering career. The resume is impressive enough as it is. But as Andrew said, we spoke about your studying journalism, and you are coming towards the end of your bowls career. Tell us a little bit more about that. It sounds a bit morbid, but tell us a little <laughs> bit more about that. Um, 
Yeah, okay. So for a few years now, I've, I've realised that my university degree was, was going to finish at the end of this year. Um, and then with Commonwealth Games happening six months down the track, um, obviously I thought, you know, that's perfect timing. I'll have a degree. I'll have six months to just work my butt off yep. and make this Commonwealth Games team and hopefully go there and, and win. Um, and then I started thinking... I've had, I've, I've been playing bowls for eight. I've been in the Australian team for eight years now. Um, every year has been fantastic. I've got amazing memories. I've got best, my best friends are, you know, my teammates. Um, and I think, I'd, I, I feel like I think I'll be ready to, to stop. I don't know. Um, I think it's probably going to depend on, on how well I go. Um, I know I've spoken to um, Steve Glass and the coach um, about, you know, possibly trying to defend a, a world title from Adelaide um, at the next world championships. But, um, I'm just really not sure what's around the corner. Like I'm, I'm, I, I know that I'm not going to go much further if I get a little bit past Com Games. That'll be great. But um, I think my career. I really want to focus on my career. I, I want to do something more than bowls. Um, as I said, like I have loved it and I'm still loving it. It's definitely still a fire in the belly. Um, but yeah, I think there's just there's more to life now. And and for me, bowls is not always um, just about winning and losing. Um, just enjoying myself and I suppose it's something that my mum's drilled into me I know, she, I know she's pretty disappointed when she reads articles that I've <laughs> told the newspaper I'm going to retire like she's like oh you know what balls events am I going to go and watch yeah. um, you know I think she really wants me to go to the Gold Coast but um, yeah I, I've spoke to a few people and I, I really want to go to an Olympics and mm. I don't think you know that's um, probably not going to happen for me uh, in bowls um, the Commonwealth Games is fantastic but the Olympics is just the um, it's just the bee's knees really for sport and um, unfortunately lawn bowls is not looking like it's going to be a part of that for you know in my time in a way um, so I, I see myself going there as um, with the media or with a with a sport organisation so to do that I need to start focusing on my career that seems pretty good to me that's answered yeah, all absolutely. of the questions yeah. there <laughs> we wish you the absolute best while we've still got you for a little while yet we wish you the absolute best but then obviously beyond that we wish you all the best as well before we go, Andrew. Just one last one that I'd like to ask you, Kelsey, in terms of, I mean, you talk about being in the Australian team since you were 15, um, born in New Zealand, raised on the Sunshine Coast, live on the Gold Coast now. You've chosen a career outside of bowls, and many people do that within the sport in terms of bowls coordinators and so forth. You've done that. Do you feel like a, a, a role as an ambassador for the sport of young girls coming through? You're 23, you're talking about retirement, you've achieved hopefully two Commonwealth Games, two world championships, do you take on an ambassadorial sort of role in terms of bowlers coming through? And would you like to spend some time in your retirement giving something back to some of the younger players coming through? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, like I, when I started when I was 15, I just couldn't believe um, that this was happening. I was 15 years old and I was playing for my country. And, um, you know, I, I hope that someone comes along and breaks that record. It'd be like the most amazing thing ever in bowls. And um, I know um, the media attention that I got from being that 15 year old playing this old person sport um, actually probably um, gave me that um, that idea that I think I want to work in the media so bowls has given me a lot um, it's given me enjoyment it's given me friends it's brought my family closer together um, it's given me a career option um, so I definitely feel like yeah it is time to to give back and um, yeah and I think um, you know when the time comes that I do um, retire from international stuff. Um, I'll probably assess what I'm going to do with the with other bowling stuff, and obviously I want to stay close to my friends, so I'll, I'll probably still play the odd thing here and there. Um, and I think there will be that chance to sort of get involved and and help some younger younger kids coming along, and, and not just kids, but um, you know working class um, sort of at the age group that bowls sort of struggles to get. Um, yeah, but um, I mean, juniors, I'd, I'd really like to go and, and witness like an Australian junior championships. I think I was 17 when I went to my last one. So I sort of uh, forget what it's all like. And I was, it's always a lot of fun. There's 10 kids from every state that get together and play against each other. And God knows what they get up to. I, I was definitely on my best. <laughs> I was definitely on my best behavior of when course, I was there. Of yeah. course. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'd like to go there and just see, um, and just see what we've got coming, you know, coming, coming along. And, um, you know, we've got the current Australian teams all, um, we've all sort of, a lot of us have been there and, and been there for a while. And obviously I'm thinking retirement. We've got some, some girls that have just gone and got, got married and, um, you know, who way. knows what's around the corner for them. You know, they're pretty clocky. Yeah. So, um, so we need some young ones coming through. Absolutely we do. We really appreciate you coming by, as we said, Kelsey. Thanks for stopping in. Obviously, just a quick little visit in town, but everything's working beautifully. Thanks so much. And as we said, we wish you the, the best of luck, not only now, but post-bowls as well. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.